Hi everyone and welcome to your second lesson on the Silk Road, a lesson on Marco Polo and his journeys around the Silk Road and China. This is located under the Silk Road tab of the Ancient China Teaching and Learning website resource. This is a pretty easy lesson but a very fun lesson as well. So by the end of this lesson you need to know Marco Polo's journey along the Silk Road and by the end of this lesson you need to be able to collect information about the places Marco Polo visited along his journey through China along the Silk Road. So we know in our previous lesson on the dynasties of ancient China is that Marco Polo was a Venetian traveller who travelled around the Silk Road. He's not just a, a popular game that we play with our eyes closed. He was a real person who travelled around China. He travelled through China uh, via the Silk Road during the Yuan Dynasty where he met Kublai Khan and he spent 17 years with him. Um, Marco Polo is a really interesting person in history because he witnessed China at a time where it was uh, experiencing great change to what it normally was like. He also communicated a lot of what China was like back to Europe and he also took a lot back uh, to Europe with him. Your main task for this lesson is to explore Marco Polo's journey around China and along the Silk Road. So below is a list of the places Marco Polo visited on his journey along the Silk Road in ancient China. So use this website for the answers. Click the picture to access the interactive map. So I'll go ahead and open the map here. Your job is to write down one fact per location Polo visited. Use the map to find a fact. So there are two journeys plotted on this map that Marco Polo took when he went to China and then when he returned from China back to Italy 17 years later after spending that time uh, with Kublai Khan during the Yuan Dynasty. So what you need to do is collect one fact per location that he visited. So you'll see this departure, landing point one, landing point two, and so on, all the way to final landing point. And I'll show you what this looks like here. So journey one is located in the green line. We can see these little white dots are the places where Polo stopped on his destination. So we can zoom into our first location which is in Venice in Italy. And if you click on the location here, it'll come up with the description and the name departure. So in 1271, Marco Polo left Venice with his father and uncle to travel to the court of Kublai Khan. That could be your fact you write down for departure. Next, you need to write down a fact for landing point two. So I'll click out of that one and I'll go to the second landing point. And then you can get collect a fact from the description here. You can get the names of the places that he visited as well. And so on, you might have to zoom in a fair bit for landing point number three. And you just keep going until you finally get to the destination, and that'll end journey one. So that's the final landing point, the destination, and then you'll finish the first journey. The second journey is the return journey that Marco Polo made. It's in the blue. So you just go ahead and click on the departure in the blue. So the Polos decided to return home after living and working in the court of the Khan for 17 years. So that could be your fact, you have the departure. And the same as the green line or the first journey, you keep going through and you click on all the destinations until you finally get to the final landing point. And that's pretty much it. So guys, thank you for watching. There is a Kahoot here as well if your class finishes early and you can click on the link like so to open that one up. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you want to stay updated to any new lessons that are made in existing websites like this one, or if you want to stay updated to any new websites I make. Thanks, guys.